Live. We're live. What's up? It's Keith Kelfis. I hope you're doing well. I only have a couple of minutes here real quick, but I want to share with you a, a couple tips of some things that can take your productivity to the next level. Uh, if you're anything like me, maybe you're a creative person who's impulsive and gets excited about ideas and then you go down. It's almost like you're bipolar. You get really, really excited and then you get really, really tired and anxious or depressed. And it's this up down thing. Have you ever seen how the uh like the circus guy and the lion the lion tamer he has the stool with the chair and he has this chair has like you know four legs on it so what happens is the the lion actually is tame because it's confused because there's too many things to focus on at once well if, if that's you and you get distracted if you can't focus and you get entirely distracted then you actually you give up because it burns and it sucks and it sequesters your willpower. So then you just give up. I want to make sure that you can actually hear me right now because I'm live. What's up? It's Keith nice. Okay, I hope you hear me good. Well, I only have a couple of minutes. Okay. So there's this amazing book by James Clear called Atomic Habits. You can get the book. You can also get it on audible.com and listen to this book, Atomic Habits. It was literally number one on Amazon on Audible overall this last year out of hundreds of thousands of book, Atomic Habits. So here's uh, the first tip. One is listen to Atomic Habits. It'll give you tremendous clarity. Two is you hear this uh, talk about systems and it's been used so much. It's just disgusting systems in your business. Then now there's family systems and life systems. Well, I have learned if you pick specific days and times of the week that you do specific things and then you put this into rotation, it starts to entrench and create a habit. These little systems have created so much productivity for me when otherwise I would just get uh, instead I would just get distracted beforehand. Now I'm getting these things done. The first one is uh, Saturday finances. Every single Saturday I wake up, I do these Saturday finances, and I've been doing it consistently consistently since uh, 2016. So it's at like six years straight every Saturday. Tuesday night is date night with my wife. So we have this thing every Tuesday night since 2016. We do a date night. We cuddle up. We watch Netflix. We go out to the movies or we'll just pop popcorn at home and watch funny movies and eat dinner at the dinner table Tuesday every Tuesday night since 2016. And now it's this habitualized, ritualized thing that's awesome. Now for the past six weeks, I've created Wednesday night podcast night. So every single Wednesday night, I I, uh, I I do a podcast and I go live and I get in my studio here and it's studio night. It's Wednesday night. And then um, what else? What is every Sunday morning, I'm like listening to Joyce Meyer, doing a Bible study, stuff like that. So find things and that you do that you can put in your calendar. And then you might get upset and be like, well, that's too rigid. I like to be in a flow state and do what I feel when I feel like it. If everything is overly scheduled too much, then you feel like it constricts and it pulls the life out of what you want to do. Although that's partially true, I want to talk about opposite ends of the spectrum here. There's this thing called like masculine, feminine, or yin yang. There's different types of consciousness. Feminine would be the the river, and masculine would be the river banks, right? So if you're a person who has a lot of flow and there's so much flow, or say feminine energy that there's not enough structure to contain it, and you can't get the thing to go anywhere because you're stuck in idea mode or like too much creativity and flow but not enough structure implement a little bit of structure into there if you have too much structure and too much rigidity or they would say like too much uh or hyper polarized on uh, masculine energy they would call it it's almost like everything is grids and cells and structure and over just pure data and there's no flow in there add some flow in there some impulsiveness some and pay attention to this stuff and become introspective and jump outside and objectify and look at it and be like like are you overly rigid or are you way too overly in flow and there's no structure at all i think you know it's best for you but that's my tip read the james clear book atomic habits and then find ways to ritualize or systematize things into your life even if you don't feel like doing it Maybe you want to wake up every single morning and work out for 15 minutes. I have this thing where I walk my dogs every single Monday for the past five years. Sometimes I walk my dogs like five times a week, but at least every single Monday. And the dogs know, too, it's a ritual. Monday is dog walking day. Walk around the block. 
just like you have a day that you take out your garbage. Think about how the sun goes up and down and how we have clocks and everything is systematized around us, but we let ourselves off of the hook and we don't have any systems. I'm incredibly ADD and it's hard for me to focus. I'm all over the place and these little systems and reading books like Atomic Habits has helped me so much. So check out that book. I hope that serves you. And I'm about to go get dinner with my wife. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I'm like, need some food, man. So uh, throw in the comments below if there's any books on productivity here. When you have structure and boundaries and you have a calendar and you've systematized things, it actually opens up and creates a lot more freedom in your life because it allows you to get a lot of things done. Uh, I live and die and breathe by my Google Calendar. If it's not on the calendar, it's not going to happen. I'm pulling up Google Calendar right now. My wife is synced on one of my calendars. And I mean, literally, you can't see, but the calendar is booked down to the hour every single day for months and months and months. And I like it that way because I would be a mess without it. So utilize things like Google, Google Calendar. If you don't have the habit of using it will get in the habit of putting every single like you can, can even color code Google Calendar. Uh, green is for landscaping projects. Blue is for window cleaning projects. Pink is family events. Red is for my media business and podcast. Uh, gray is how I block out our pay periods for payroll. And it's all here color coded and um, stuff like that. You can organize your time and get way more productive. Okay. Read Atomic Habits. Check out the book by James Clear. It'll and then there's another book by I think it's Greg McEwen. Is that the right? It, the book is called es Essentialism. If you read Essentialism and Atomic Habits, those books will change your life. Those books are incredible. They're so amazing, especially Atomic Habits and Essentialism. Okay, I hope you have a great evening, and I hope you're crushing it. And I wish you all the best of success. Oh, Built to Sell. That's good. The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. The 80-20 Principle. Read all those. If you're trying to hyper-systematize your business and you like this stuff, check out um, Dan Sullivan, Strategic Coach, The Strategic Coach, and his podcast. And uh, Gino, Wickman, Gino Wickman has three books called Traction, Rocket Fuel, and Get a Grip. Those books will are like a kick in the stomach. All right. Have a good evening. And um, I just got off my podcast. I was on the, the Marketing Mindset podcast about 15 minutes ago. And then I did a, oh yeah, my podcast, the Untrapped podcast, new episodes every single Monday. All right, guys. Have a good evening.